first of all let me just say this if you see me in the same shirt like in a few other videos just please know that you know what i'm saying i record like three four five videos in one day so with that being said let's just get into this video okay sunshine why are you playing with my head all the time you go away What's up you guys it's your girl april so today's video is going to be let's hope let's just hope this like it's going to be an easy quick video okay i'm just saying let's hope for the best a wig company that i ain't never heard of before they're new to me i'm not really sure how new they are on the market or online with creating wigs this company is called we queen they sent me one of their uh fake scalp lace front wig you know a fake scalp is something that's supposed to be super easy you don't have to bleach it you don't have to conceal it with makeup you just put it on and just go you're good to go so i really can't remember the specs of this unit so i'll definitely post it below for you guys but i'm thinking i might want to take my flat iron off just to bump it out a little bit it came in a nice box you know what i'm saying it came in a box it does have one of these straps that you can you know remove and it does have the combs on the inside and at the nape and the adjustable strap but their lace cap or basically their fake scalp looks a little bit different from other companies it's more of a pattern weaved fabric which seems like it's very durable for one and more breathable they did take the liberty of bleaching the knots prior to applying this scalp fake scalp appearance inside because i've had another company that did not bleach them at all so it kind of like took away from the whole purpose you know the hairline was pretty thin but you know i wanted to thin it out a little bit as much as i could just before the actual fake scalp because i didn't want to kind of like tweeze past that um the hair quality is decent i didn't wash it or anything like that i just took it out of the box and styled it into you know the part the situation where I would want it to be so basically what I'm going to need to do probably now is actually go ahead and rebump some of the ends because I'm not like the hugest bob fan but if I'm going to wear a bob it has to be like sleek and perfect it cannot be flipping up at the ends making me look like I'm Dora the Explorer or none of that you know what I'm saying I need it to be straight bottom line so let me get my flat iron and we can be so let me give you the specs of this wig real quick so that we can get into this tutorial girl she is 10 inches in length 150 percent density she has invisible knots and it does give the illusion of a fake scalp you know the hairline is pre-plucked for you guys so all you really need to do with this unit as you see me do is just take it out the box and style it and put it on um it does come pre-styled for you but you know each person is particular of how they like their bob wigs to lay me personally i really don't like any type of curl in it not a curve not a bump nothing only because my head shape is long so i prefer it just to be straight you know what i'm saying I really don't like the ends to flip up at all. It drives me crazy. But you can also use code APRIL at time of checkout to receive 10% off of your order. I will post all of the information for We Queen wig, a We Queen hair, excuse me, in the description box below. So that way you guys can check it out. The unit came out nice. I do like the fact that they bleached the knots of this fake scalp and that you really didn't have to do anything, which is perfect for me because I don't really like to do anything anyway. I mean, I do but you know hey and I'm just gonna do the standard you know application and if you guys see my nails have grown but then they broke off so yeah and on that note I'm gonna just continue on you guys know the gist of the entire video and stuff like that um yeah I don't really know what else to say but make sure that you get some good wig clips or clips in general to hold your hair back some type of hairspray i use got to be glam force or gel whatever makes you feel comfortable and you feel that it will work for your wig or your hair installment then you know go and use it and get it okay and that's about all you guys if anybody is wondering where i got my shirt from which is by supreme supreme is life this is actually one of my son's shirts um, my son was shirt you know i do like to wear his things for my videos um just makes me feel happy and that's about it i love you guys and just relax watch the rest of the tutorial and listen to some cool music Uh-huh. <laughs> 
style looks right now. I don't mind taking my time to stay in this bed now. Never get out cause I would love wasting time with you baby. Cause I know it will be heaven making love with you. I would love wasting time with you baby. Cause I know tell y'all this scalp this fake scalp is really nice i will give them to i give them that they did a really good job on the fake scalp they did a nice job on the entire construction of the unit the only downfall it's not even a downfall it's not a deal breaker it's just one you know suggestion when you make like you know since they have these um elastic bands that you can remove they put them they sold the actual you know the bra part or the harder part they sewed it a little bit too close to like where the ear tab is at so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult for me to just basically hold this side down and flatten it so i would suggest like just putting it back like maybe like two inches some because it's a little bit too close you can definitely remove it yourself and re-sew it back in but i'm just saying you know because some people don't like to do that some people just be like oh i don't want the wig i'm gonna send it back but instead of just sending it back you could just you know unsew it and just sew it back down a little bit further that was the only like you know what i'm saying issue i had the the con i had it wasn't like a really big deal other than that the wig fits nice i do like the fake scalp it came out nice the length is decent like this remind me of like an older hairstyle like i had like back in the days like we didn't call them bobs so i don't know why everybody's calling them a bob but you know we didn't really call them bobs but you know it makes me feel like you know this is it looks natural okay it looks natural it looks natural it doesn't look too long and like you know glamorous like sometimes i just want to be basic just basic april simple basic april i would suggest that you guys take a look at them check out their website see what they're about you know check their fake scalps and on that note i'll post all the information below for you guys i gotta go so i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,